So here on Tobacco University, I'm going to be describing using liquid carbon dioxide for cannabis production. Interested in using a very dense, uh, very pure form of carbon dioxide? Well, using liquid might be worth a consideration, particularly if you're a larger growing operation. So liquid carbon dioxide is similar to compressed carbon dioxide, at least in the general methods that would be implemented. Liquid bottles are essentially a denser form of compressed carbon dioxide. However, unlike compressed carbon dioxide, liquid carbon dioxide requires ref refrigeration when being stored. And typically it's found in larger sizes. Here we see a 300 pound, 500 pound, a 750 pound. They even come in larger sizes than that for your liquid carbon dioxide. Now, as I said, this does require specialized equipment, so there is more required equipment when using liquid carbon dioxide, and this is why it is commonly used for larger applications, where a compressed carbon dioxide tank would simply be too large and require too frequent fillings. So using liquid, as we can see here, this is probably your regular, for size comparison, 50 pound bottles, and can see how large this liquid carbon dioxide tank is. So specialized equipments, but can be justified for larger growing operations. Now liquid becomes a gas, so if you're using liquid carbon dioxide, it will not be delivered to the plants as a liquid, but it'll be delivered as a gas. So it will be heated and injected via the gaseous state. Now that does not mean you can go through and um, go through and add a fire extinguisher and you know add the gaseous state in this way. Uh, here is using a fan to help disperse it, not really recommended in that way. It'd be much more precisely delivered to plants um, and allows for very consistent results. So same general idea, but in the very general sense, but not like this. So liquid carbon dioxide setup, what, was that, what would that actually look like? Well, here we see there's a safety relief valve. We have a pressure gauge. A darker colored ring around the top of the cylinder indicates a siphon tube is present. So when we're looking at the actual kind of cylinder, we're noticing there is a gaseous carbon dioxide. That's about 5 to 10% of carbon dioxide by weight is unused because only gas remains. And we have the liquid carbon dioxide here at 700 to 800 pounds per square inch. If you're looking at this in general, very similar to a gaseous state, a compressed bottle. But as we saw here, additional equipment is required and tends to be used in larger sizes uh, for, for larger operations where simple comp compressed bottles would just be too laborious and not as efficient.